shoot. Oh, oh shoot. Hey, hey guys. Uh, hey, what's going on? It's uh, Nick A. Myers here, and uh, welcome to uh, Craft on Tap. I was uh, sorry, I was just in the middle of all this quarantine and everything. I was just taking a nice little cat nap in the sun and uh, totally spaced on time. But welcome back to another Beer Peer Review. We are Craft on Tap. I am Nick A. Myers, and you are the viewer. Today, we are going to sample some Sierra Nevada beers. Now, we have so far straight away from some of the larger beer companies, but hey, these guys have been around since the 1980s, uh, and so why not uh, check them out? Today, we're working with part one of two. We're gonna have six beers on the docket. Today, we have three. It's from the Sierra Nevada, the sampler, sampler. Uh, we have four different styles of beer in this. There are gonna be six unique different bottles and beers to try. So today we've got the three weight session IPA. We have the classic Sierra Nevada, of course, pale ale. We've all probably seen it, tried it, had it. And then we have a coffee stout. Just a quick note about these awesome guys at Sierra Nevada. They've been around since the 1980s. They're out of Chico, California. What up, chicos? And um, they're, you know, they're about sustainability and about putting out a good product. Um, they're just, they're tried and true. So we're excited to give them a shot today. Are you watching? Are you sharing? Are you liking? Are you subscribing? Are you telling your friends about us? I mean, come on. We've all finished Netflix. We've all gone through Hulu. We've all done all the apps and watched all the shows. Come see us. Watch us for a second time. And you know, if anything, just make sure you share with your people because that's really important to me. All right. All right, guys. Today we're going to try these beers and I'm super excited because first off we have a session, excuse me, a three weight session IPA. Now, what a session IPA is essentially is it just has a lower alcohol content. So we're going to start off with this bad boy here and see what's going on. I love our beer peer reviews. I hope you love them too. All right. So the three weight session IPA, a lot of IPAs out there, super golden, very yellow, golden, almost straw. Um, just a nice little amount of head on there. It's really pretty. It's effervescent, not too cloudy. Mmm, of course, I smell the grains, I smell the hops in there. It's not overwhelming though, a little floral. A tad sweet. Now let's give it a shot. Ooh, that's good. A lot of mouthfeel, a lot of effervescence. Just slightly bitter as it finishes, but I mean, it's got almost an orangey taste. Um, I definitely can taste the hops in there, but it isn't as hoppy as a lot of IPAs are, and maybe hence the session, right? Wow, that's... It really does have a nice floral bouquet though on there. I'm gonna give this one a heads up and a love. I'm gonna try, you know, we haven't done this yet on the show, but we're gonna start cleansing the palate. So here we are with some coffee because I wanna get that you know, smell out of my nose. And some water. All right, well, while you're here, we wanna thank you for being here. And we also wanna encourage you to drink responsibly. I mean, it's pretty hard not to these days. You're all at home, right? So. Just don't drink too much that you don't remember where you're at or something, right? <laughs> I'm so silly. All right, next beer. The traditional Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, one that's been, I mean, it's been around since I can remember and I've always enjoyed this one. Uh, We're going to give it a nice smooth pour today. Mm, wow, oh yeah, similar to the last one, but cloudier and much, much more almost, um, it has like an orangey tint um, I really love the way this looks, all the bubbles attaching themselves to the glass, and then a really thick, thick, kind of nice, rich head on there. Yeah, this one smells a little floral too, but it's really subtle. I mean, I'm getting a little grain in there, uh, but it's not overwhelming on the smell side of things. So let's give it a shot on the tongue. That's good. Mmm, mmm, yes. That's a flavor that I've had before. Hits you real quickly and then it kind of just gently subsides. It um, it does linger a little bit. It's a little bitter too, but you know, I like the bitterness of this pale ale a lot. You know, it's, again, it's a beer that I've had many times. Mm. Yeah, it sort of starts in the middle of the tongue, works its way backwards. Um, but the, yeah, refreshing, clean, crisp, clean as a whistle. Da -da 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 -da. Anyway, I am going stir crazy, but I'm so glad to be able to reach out to you. Um, thanks for continuing to tune in and uh, let's keep drinking beer. And the last beer for today is going to be a coffee stout. So for all you coffee lovers, uh, you st stout drinkers, and of course, people who like a little bit of a darker beer, this one's going to be for you. 
the most unique and probably dark out of this sampler. Have you seen my sampler? All right, y'all, coffee stout. Let's give it a pour. As you would expect, very dark, very, very, I mean, it's almost like, it's like the abyss. It's like my soul. It's so dark you can't see through it. Uh, nice, thick, almost, again, orangish hue to this head. Some bubbles on there, some really good um, uh, effervescence. I can just see the bubbles having fun, letting loose in the oxygen. On the smell, and as a matter of fact, i to take my own advice real quick. Cleanse the palate, do a little swish. Okay, so we're back to the coffee style. We smelled it. I can subtly get that chocolate smell, a little coffee on there, but you know, it's it's malt, it's grain, um, it's, and again, it's just subtle on that. Um, it's kind of calmed me down a little bit now, so let's give it a try. Mm, that's really good, not too sweet. A little, like, kind of like sweet, like a little bit medium sweet at first, and then it gets like woody or nutty. And it kind of lingers in the middle of the mouth on the palate, but it's, it's uh, not super bitter. I like this a lot because it just goes down smooth. Not super carbonated, not super heavy on the fizz and the bugs, but enough to kind of keep my mouth all excited. So, um, hey, the first three of these six are all tried and true great beers. We want to send a cheers out to Sierra Nevada. I want to send a cheers out to myself, Nick A. Myers, a.k.a. Nick Fury Styles, and the co-producers of this show, the Boulder Rogue Digital. We are coming to you from Albuquerque, New Mexico, but the world is a global stage and craft beer is everywhere. So we'll see you next time with the Beer Peer Review. In the meantime, stay crafty, you crafters, you crafties. Stay, stay crafty, my friends. Cheers.